David Bellamy once called New Zealand the land without teeth. That's because all of our wildlife has beaks and feathers. But we do have some creatures with teeth around here. They're secretive, they're mysterious, they come out at night, and I'm gonna go and check them out. Quite excited now because we're right here in the bat cave, so I can hear them. Here we go. Oh, this wow. is the New Zealand short tail bat. Look at the way that they run backwards. Yes, they prefer, see preferred. Here we go. Up, up They're the, obliging. Yeah. And I'll get one. They're a little bit feeling a little bit um, sleepy. Sleepy due to the time of the year. Normally goes. they um, are quite ferocious and inclined to bite. So it's a good time of the year for you. Good time of the year for um, having a look at bats. And it's a, bit like watching. it's a bit like hibernation, isn't it? They're not quite they're still, out. They're still eating each night. Not, not as much as they might in the summer, but they still get out and about. But they're just a little bit more sort of docile during the day. To provide um, food for the bats, rather we have been breeding mealworms on the island. So these are um, bins full of bran, which is what the mealworms live in. So here we have um, the mealworms going through their complete life cycle just in this bin. So these beetles here, they're the adult version? This is the adult. The adult lays the eggs. The eggs hatch into mealworms. These are the mealworms here, some good healthy Carpety Island mealworms. Yeah, they look good. The mealworms then mature and develop in the, these little larval the larval stage, which is the stage before the adult. So we um, sift through the, the brand to get sufficient mealworms to take down to the bats. And I see you've got a few tea bags on here. Oh, the Are mealworms they caffeine to, addicts? Or? They, perhaps. <laughs> they certainly seem to enjoy the <laughs> occasional cup of tea. <laughs> Gumboot. So there you've got the mealworms in the tea bag. We also feed them apple and all sorts of household scraps and we'll buy an apple and carrot and what have you to provide them with extra food and as a consequence the nutrients of this food gets passed on to the bats. So this is their wing. Wow. Like a um, sort of sticky membrane. Yes. You can really see, I mean... And yeah. they've got this little hook at the front they climb with and they've also got the, you can unroll their tail. And they use that when they're gliding around as well, don't they? Yes. He's going to smile for you. <laughs> Is he going to smile? Yeah. He's thinking, what's that light on me? I was sleeping. I think it's really, really amazing to have this opportunity because the short tails particularly are so rare, they tend to be a bit forgotten, so it's, it's really neat to be able to see them here and um, see the work you're doing and looking after them. They're just wonderful. <laughs>